My name is Joseph San Jose. This is my second year now with CCO, and I work at Simon Fraser University. I was born in 1990 in a little tiny island country called Bahrain, which is in the Middle East in the Persian Gulf. Um, and I was raised in the Philippines in a Catholic family, but uh, for, for our family, being Catholic was just going to Mass on Sundays and not really much else after that. So after I was confirmed, there was really nothing else left for me. The fullest way I could really live my life and be happy was to just try everything, try everything once. So I lived my life like that. Um, did whatever I wanted. I did pretty well for myself, but by the time uh, I got through first year was when I realized I had tried everything and I still really wasn't happy. I had a friend who invited me to, to play drums for some youth retreat. Um, I was, wasn't really uh, into that stuff, but I was very into music, so he was like, just come and play drums. During the retreat, there was a night of Eucharistic adoration. That I didn't know what Eucharistic adoration was at the time, but something told me that in the monstrance, in that presence, was God. And it was at that moment when I first realized what I had really been looking for, which was that joy. That joy that I couldn't find anywhere else. And it really filled me for the first time. I really enjoyed um, just being able to share the experience that I had. So by the time I was graduating, I was realizing, well, this is probably something that I want to do. And everything is history from there. So Mark was a student who we encountered through our first semester of outreach. He's from the Czech Republic, from Prague, and, uh, but he was, on, he was studying in the University of Edinburgh and he was on exchange to UBC for one year. When I met him, he seemed pretty open and, and pretty excited about being in Vancouver and exploring new things. I shared uh, a book that called The You Are, or The Ultimate Relationship with him, and it was there where I was able to, to bring him to a point of uh, uh, of understanding that he had to make a decision about faith, whether he wanted to believe in Catholicism or believe in God for the first time. He said no the first time because he wanted to learn more, and that's what motivated him to, to join the Discovery Faith Study. Now, after lesson five of Discovery, which is where we really, where we challenge young people to invite Jesus to be at the center of their lives, um, he, he joined us in praying the prayer, and afterwards we had a one-on-one -on -one meeting just to see what really happened in his heart. So I asked him, Mark, do you want to make this decision today? And he said, yes, I think so. And at first I was like, in my head, really? You want to do that? He's like, yeah. And he really sensed that he made a decision, that he made a choice for the first time in his life. A week after, after that meeting, he told me that he did want to join RCIA and that he wanted to become a Catholic. He was baptized on Holy Saturday uh, on, at the Easter Vigil Mass uh, this past year. And he, he goes to Mass every other day and he received the Sacrament of Reconciliation for the first time last month. And he, he's, been, he's been telling me about all the ways he's been growing in his faith and he prays every day. He just, he just loves everything that's happened to him. The thing that brings me the most joy in my work is when we see students finally get it. That they realize that if they were the only person in the world that Jesus died, Jesus would have died for them anyway. When you see their eyes light up and there's, there's a real change in the way they smile, in their countenance, and, and things just kind of shift in their lives when they realize that. <laughs>